Today, I'm going to show you how to make my mama's beef short ribs with my own twist, this amazing bao bun sandwich. We are going to start with searing the ribs first. Don't forget to put some oil in your pot. Not a lot. And do the veggies if you need to, because we want them to kind of crisp it up. We are not looking for them to turn into brown brown color, but we are looking for is actually having this nice deeper flavor by frying the ribs first before braising. All right, the next, let's move on to make the sauce. It's super delicious. My mom taught me how to do this and it never fails anybody. So first, I'm going to make an awesome soy sauce. And if you can find Korean soy sauce, it will be the best to pour into a mixing bowl. Any type of uh, red wine, quarter cup, a lot of garlic, a lot of garlic. That's my mom's secret, a lot of garlic. For the sweetness, we are going to use honey because my mom really loves using honey instead of sugar in her dish. So we are just going to follow all the way how my mom does. Oh yeah. And just whisk away. This sauce smells already amazing. All right, I'm just going to set aside right here. Meanwhile, let's check the ribs real quick. Flip them over. Let's just slice some red onion. I'm going to peel the outer part, about half an inch thick. Doesn't have to be too thin because they are going to braise with the ribs and you want them to still holding their shape. They're perfectly seared. I'm going to just put it away and do the second batch. And you will see a lot of fat coming off from the ribs, so you wanna tap the oil out as you go. All right, my ribs looking good. I'm just going to take out really quick. Take all this oil out from the pot because we don't want this much oil in our braised ribs. I'm going to put these ribs back into the pot, all of it. The onions. Stir sauce one more time before you pour, because the honey might on the bottom. And just pour the sauce. Oh yeah, swirl them around. It might doesn't look like a, a lot of liquid to braising it, but no worries because the moisture coming off from the onion as well. And you don't want this one to be like a too soupy. Okay, now I'm going to cover and let it boil and let it keep hard boiling for 25 minutes so over high heat and then reduce the heat to low and simmer another 20 minutes. Then it will be ready for you. Let's get ready to make cucumber kimchi and steam the buns. For cucumber kimchi, I'm going to use this um, Perusian cucumber. It's right there. And grab some chive. This is a garlic chive. You can use green onion if you cannot find this. That's totally fine. Just cut it into about one inch. In red chili. Just cut it into half and get the seeds out from the chili. Julienne it thinly. Now let's chop up one garlic clove. All right, now seasoning time. Some fish sauce. Gochugaru Korean red pepper flakes. It will make this kimchi beautiful, beautiful red color. Sugar to sweeten that up. And white vinegar. And just mix it all together. It's almost kind of like a salad type. Something that you can really easily whoop it up and make it for Korean side of the dish. How about this? I'm so Asian, I have to use chopsticks when I'm mixing stuff. All right, they're looking good, awesome. Let's clean up this real quick and I'm going to check on the ribs real quick too. Are you ready to see the ribs? <laughs> Super excited. This is just so perfect. My mom gonna proud of me, it's perfect. I'm just going to turn the heat off and let's just steam the bow. I have um, boiling water right in the pot right there, and here is the bowl you probably want to purchase from an uh, Asian grocery store at frozen section. They are like this, like a little duck face. All right, just cover it up 
and put it on top of the boiling water. Like that. All right, we are going to steam it. If it's frozen, about five minutes, and if it's thawed out, maybe a couple minutes will be enough. All right, let's finish, finish up the ribs by adding a little bit of toasted sesame oil. Just mix one more time. Just take out a couple of pieces because we are going to make sandwiches. Slice them up to fit into my bao bun. Grab your plate and come back to the ribs. Open your bao bun and some of those onions and some cucumber kimchi we made. This will break down this uh, rich beef short ribs and bring it to next level, the spicy, sour, crunch cucumber. If you want to go fancy, need a sesame seeds. And a little bit of a shilgochu. This is Korean red pepper threads. It's really impressive topping in Korea. So go all the way fancy with this. It's like a best bao bun ever. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Mm. Perfect, perfect combination of the richness, sweet, savory, spicy, crunch, refreshing. Mmm, can beat this bao. Bao chicken wow wow. Mmm. -hmm. So good. <laughs>